<laughs> oh, my God, the voice is ridiculous. <laughs> to hear a man hit notes like that, well, it's just not fair. And there is, I swear <laughs> there's like an extra little person in there just doing extra dances so you can get extra things <laughs> out because your voice doesn't make any sense. You're beyond talented. Oh, that feels so good to hear. Thank you, Kelly, so much. Have you been? Oh, shut <laughs> up, Dad. I know what you did. I didn't block you. You are gonna get in trouble, guys. I, I didn't block her. You are in trouble. What's your name? My name is Johnny Manuel. Where are you from? Originally, I am from Flint, Michigan in the United States, but I am very proud to say now that I am a resident of Terrigal, New South Wales. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Johnny Manuel. I'm 35 years old, and I'm from Terrigal up the Central Coast. From LA to Terrigal. Yeah, from LA to Terrigal, quite the difference. <laughs> Definitely someone special behind that. That feeling, don't you know you give me that feeling? I was touring here with a group that I'm in called the California Crooners Club, and we were in between gigs hanging out at Kuji, and I met the love of my life. Give me that I definitely feel lucky. Give me that feeling. I've been singing my entire life. My parents are both singers, so it was just natural for me to go into music. At 13, I was very fortunate, and I got a recording contract. It just felt like I was doing what I loved every single day of my life. But it didn't work out with the record company. I was dropped. Ever since then, it's just been one foot in front of the other because I know I was born to do this. I think your voice is crazy. We've never had a singer like you on The Voice. Yes. Like, it's like, wow. this is... Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Wow. You are an amazing singer. And I wouldn't have to do much work except just find the right songs for you to sing. Oh, my God, this is so exciting. What, what a is performance. It, is is this, it now? I'm so happy it's exciting for you. Now, which one of y'all <laughs> did this? Which one of y'all did? No, no. And now I know how this button feels, and I don't like it. I don't like it at all. <laughs> Let's talk about what you just did on stage. It was just unbelievably good. A song by Big Diva. Yeah. I mean, really, it's just about letting your voice soar. 
I'm just super excited. I can hear your voice on so many different things, but I can definitely hear it on some seriously soulful, like collaborations with DJs, with, with producers. Yeah. And, <laughs> and I, I think with the right song, you could blow up. Like your, your voice is crazy. Thank you. That means a lot, honestly, so thank you. This is the tough moment for you now. You just got to trust your instincts. Go with someone who you think gets you, who you think gets your gift, and who can make that gift grow and affect as many people for the positive. This is the moment. I'm going to go with Guy. I've never been this excited about anything that I've ever done on The Voice as I am right now. This is one of those battles that could either be magic or it could be disaster. Trying to find something that makes you shine and you shine has been challenging. So I've chosen a song which I feel is going to be a moment and it's Earth Song. Buku and I got Earth Song by Michael Jackson, and I could absolutely not be happier about this song choice. It's an amazing song. It's to me, it's, yeah, it's a big surprise, actually. I never expect. Didn't expect this song? This song. <laughs> yeah. Actually. Oh my god. This is big song. How I'm going to fit in this song uh, makes me a little bit nervous. I think for this to be a moment, I think Johnny has to sing that verse. Your throat singing is just beautiful. It's so, it's so beautiful. Then your horse fiddle, which is just stunning, and you play it so beautifully. So I want to showcase both of those things with you. Are you OK with that? Yeah, I'm fine, yeah, I'm fine, yeah. As long as, you know, it's nice. This is not quite a duet, no. I'm singing a lot of the song while Buku is throat singing and doing melodic, beautiful things throughout the back, as well as playing his horse fiddle. So it's different. It's, it's different than anything I've ever experienced. I think it's probably going to be different than anything the audience has ever seen. This is what music's about. When two people collaborate at this level, it's just mind blowing. <laughs> You said we were to gain. Did you ever stop to notice all the blood we shed before? Did you ever stop to notice this crying nerd, these weeping shores? Firstly, I mean, clearly, Johnny, you know, in, you're in the zone. It was flawless what you were doing. The only thing I was struggling with was, was I was trying to understand how this was a battle because it felt like Buku was your backing player. Buku, I didn't get to hear any of your vocals that I heard that I know we all turned around for in the blinds. 
and I didn't, I didn't at all feel it was fair. So, so I'm confused how, did, how Buku felt in that situation because he was backing you. I do agree. Johnny, the way you performed that was so beautiful. It really, really was. Your vocal Thank was you. spotless. It really, really Thank is. You. It's so unfortunate because I feel like it takes away from both of you in this moment because Johnny can't just like, like relish in this like incredible moment. Yes, you know he what can. I mean? That that yes, I mean, he can. I'm not saying that he can't, but I'm saying that you actually took that away from him. And we have to be focused on something else, which is the fact that you actually chose a song where Buku is only like backing up. Yeah. In my opinion. It's you just guys, me you guys have Johnny. lost your mind. I must have been in a different room to the rest of you. I'm sorry. I want to say something positive about what I just saw because I was expecting to really dislike the performance, right? I was like, this ain't going to work. This is disastrous. I mean, yes, it wasn't a battle in the sense that, you know, you could still make a decision about who's better and who's worse. You're an amazing singer. Thank you. Forget it. You're an amazing singer. Everybody wanted you. You, what you have is so marketable. It's so transcendental and beautiful. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't perfect, but, you know, I think that you made it work. It was respectful. I liked it. Um, Buku, you have represented your gift so beautifully on all levels. Thanks very much. On all levels. And, and you should be so proud of yourself and uh, you're such an accomplished, re respected musician. I, I think it, it, it's, it's quite clear that this show definitely suits somebody like Johnny and so I don't think it'll be any surprise that I'm going to go for Johnny. Congratulations, Johnny. You're going forward in Team Guy. Let's dance in style, let's dance for a while. Heaven can wait, we're only watching the skies. Hoping for the best, but expecting the worst. Are you gonna drop the bomb now? I think the purpose of the showdown is to really tap into something that, that we feel we haven't shown yet. I feel like I, I'm sitting here going, I get it, but I've seen it before a yeah. little bit. There is another song that I have been practicing and that I connect with deeply. I want, I want to try it out and see what you yeah, think. Yeah, well, let's run it. I've picked another song, Before I Go, by Guy Sebastian, <laughs> that I thought might be kind of fun but it could also be disastrous, so we'll see how it goes. I've never been in a position where I'm, I'm hearing my own song being sung, and it's like there's this whole new life in it. Some of my band are up there yeah, playing, no. and that's what it's supposed to sound like. <laughs> my goodness. Like, from the very first time I ever heard it on the radio, it resonates so much, it feels like my exact journey. From my personal point of view, I'm going through a whole lot of personal stuff at the moment, which is like yeah. related to when I wrote this song. Right. And it's like properly helping me. Just you, you singing that, it's, it's like, it's a moment for me. That's great, man. Sorry. Well, I'm just glad you like it. I do. Yeah. Good. But they're not getting me right now because I'm in <laughs> struggles. Just one more thing. Before I let you take oh, oh. the throne All oh, the pain, I know it well But it hasn't kept me down You think you got me figured out
<laughs> I, th I think Johnny's <laughs> brought it for all of us every time. He's one of the best singers that's ever graced the stage. So oh, we're... thank you, Delta. I appreciate yeah. that. Yes, it's true. <laughs> I speak my truth. Yeah, it's very true. <laughs> really, it is a case of whatever you sing, Johnny, it's going to be silly. It's what, a gift. What, what was the, like, OK, I'm going to surprise Guy with the song? From the very first moment I heard it, I yeah, mean, yeah. it's literally my introduction to Guy when I was here performing and I heard it on the radio and I just went back through his entire catalog because yep. this song speaks to me because I have been fighting yeah, yeah, yeah. for a very long time to make this dream happen. So uh, it meant a lot to me and it still does. And so for me to be able to sing it on this stage for him and in this environment, it just is a dream come true. I was born You know, it's, sure. it's um, very painful to watch what's going on all over this world. Um, and it's, it's so funny because everybody's like, oh my God, what's happening in America? It's not just happening in America. That's right. It's happening all over the world to people of color, to black and brown people. And it, it is time for a change everywhere. And it starts with everybody. And it starts with being bold, and it starts with just calling things out the way you see them, even when it's uncomfortable. And I feel like you just called so much out with just the passion and the heart and the integrity and the authenticity it is to sing that song, because that's a hard song to sing. Very much so. But you sang it from the depths of your soul, and I felt like our ancestors could feel it. I'm literally like hot temperature all over my body because it was just like that palpable. It's almost like my soul needed to hear it. Yeah. And I genuinely appreciate you singing that song the way you did. You make me so proud. <laughs> Thank you, Kelly. Grand finale. <laughs> We're here. Can't believe it. I do feel for you, you know, not having uh, as big a support network as I, I guess what a lot of other artists normally get. Due to COVID, Johnny's parents, they haven't been able to travel they have been there every step of the way. So for them to have to miss out, it's uh, it's really difficult. And it's also strange for me because I've never really performed a lot without them being there. I was desperate for Johnny's parents to hear him actually sing this grand finale song, so I FaceTimed them in. Hey! Hello, parents. Johnny made it to the grand finale. It definitely fired me up even more to go out and bring home the crown like I really want it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you for taking such good care of him. Bless you guys, and thank you for staying up. What is the time? It's about 2.30 a.m. I love you guys so much. We love, love you, you too, babe. So proud of you. You deserve it, Johnny. Thanks for staying up. That's crazy. <laughs> Every night in my dreams, I see
will go on and on. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's definitely something you don't see every day. Is like Johnny, a male vocalist, being able to take on Celine Dion is truly remarkable. It was incredible, of course. Thank you so much, Jeff. <laughs> oh, my God, the voice is ridiculous. <laughs> to hear a man hit notes like that, well, it's just not fair. And there is, I swear <laughs> there's like an extra little person in there just doing extra dances so you can get extra things <laughs> out because your voice doesn't make any sense. You're beyond talented. Oh, that feels so good to hear. Thank you, Kelly, so much. You just get it. You get how to move people with your voice. And I know there's people watching that were so moved just then. You're the king of the world, Johnny. I'm proud of you. <laughs> the fish swam out of the ocean and grew legs and they started walking and the apes climbed down from the trees and grew tall and they started talking. The stars fell out of the sky and my tears rolled into the ocean and now I'm looking for a reason why you even set my world into motion cause if you're not really here then the stars don't even matter and I won't feel to the top with fear that it's all just a bunch of matter but if you're Winner of The Voice 2020 is...